Coach Dunn, when we met on similar terms last year after the Utah State game when you'd made a quarterback change, not the same result, although Taysom did seem to provide a spark. Oh, boy, he's just, you know, I I don't know exactly why we can't start fast right now, and that's something I've got to resolve as, a, as an offensive coordinator, but uh, I don't know that there's many football players that try as hard as, as these two quarterbacks, and to have a couple of them in the program that – play as hard as they play. There wasn't another football player on the field that played as hard as number four did tonight and um, we're lucky to have the lucky to have him. How hurt was Riley? He's hurt bad. I mean he's he's fighting through an injury that is significant and he's probably the toughest one of the toughest human beings I've ever known and and um, it just uh, at this point in, in time during this game we, we realized that you know, he wasn't going to be able to give us everything that we needed him to give us, and so we made the change. How long did you mull over that decision, and when did you ultimately make it? Well, we almost made it a, a series earlier. Riley asked for one more drive, and we gave it to him. And um, I've got a great deal of respect for Riley and who he is and what he represents and what he means to this football program. And so we let him have that next drive, and um, – you threw a pick on that drive, and, and that's hard knowing that this is, you know, kind of starting mounting up the pressure on yourself, and probably was a little unfair of a situation for him. But, you know, great to see Taysom Hill come in as a true freshman and play the way that he played or as aggressively and as physically as he did. It wasn't a, a perfect display of offense, but it was, uh, it was pretty gritty, and I'll take grit over anything all day long. As, a, as an offensive coordinator, the defense always talks about team. We win as a team, we lose as a team. But when the defense allows Boise State zero points and loses, what do you say as the offensive coordinator? Well, it's it's un, it's sad. I mean, it's uh, it makes this job really hard. And uh, for the amount of time and energy and, and, and work that you put in uh, collectively as a team and as a staff and, and for our offense not to be able to uh, pull this one out and actually give them seven points. We did it last week. We're, uh, we might we might start winning some football games in tough environments if the offense would just stop giving the other team points. Uh, and, and we've done it two weeks in a row, and our defense has done everything that they needed to do to win the game, and offense hasn't hasn't done our part. The two-point conversion call, did that come from you up in the booth or down on the field with Coach Mendenhall? The decision to go for two is Coach Mendenhall's decision, uh, which I supported all the way. The call was my call, and uh, you know the guy got a fingertip on the ball. Um, our guard missed his block, and so Taysom got flushed backwards. I was hoping that if he couldn't throw it in, he could run it in, but that wasn't going to be the case. And then the guy dove parallel to the ground and made a heck of a play, similar to the ball bouncing off the goalpost last week. I, I don't know why it bounced off the goalpost last week, and I'm not sure why this guy got a fingernail on the ball, but probably due to the fact that we made just enough mistakes to take ourselves out of, out of having a chance to win. And I'm not so sure that um, you're worthy of winning with the amount of mistakes that we've made. You have another decision to make like you did last year relative to the quarterback uh, situation. How similar or different will it be than last year and, and what's your gut feeling? Oh, I, I don't know that we have a decision to make. It's just all dependent upon Riley's health and whether or not he can play like he's capable of playing. He's got to be able to play Riley Nelson football. And if he can't play Riley Nelson football, then um, we'll have to you know, go to an alternative plan, but um, I'm not worried about those decisions. I just want to get them healthy, and, and then ultimately, whether Riley or Taysom is playing, we can't make the mistakes we're making. So it doesn't, those, both those guys can play. It's just now we've got to stop making the mistakes we're making, and, and we'll be fine. Okay, we'll see you next yeah. Friday night at home, Coach. You bet, thanks.